guys, you're back here with Barry. It is May 2nd, and we're on, uh, let me see here, day 50 of this ridiculous lockdown in the States, and day 44 here in the DR. Listen, I want to get right to it. Um, many of you may or may not know, but I want to introduce you to uh, Brian Rose, okay? He has a um, station that broadcasts the uh, truth and news. Whenever things are getting filtered and cut and this and that, uh, Brian will find a way to get in touch with them and somehow get it out to the to the public. A uh, big, big promoter of freedom of information, which I totally support, and that's the only reason why we're doing all of this, with then donating our own time. But it's, it's uh, if there's a little frustration in my voice, uh, understand it. Uh, I'm going to be releasing a bombshell I knew about for almost nine days now, okay? And I'm going to release it as time permits. Uh, there's so much information. There's only so much of it I can really, you know, because, again, uh, I, have, I have things to do for my own family. However, Brian Rose created uh, a channel called London Real, and I highly recommend everybody go and look at this, watch some of the recordings, see the people that are on it. In any event, uh, since this major news about uh, David Icke's uh, sites being taken down by Google and by uh, YouTube and all that, the censorship's getting ridiculous. Anyway, uh, Brian is uh, making a broadcast that I believe is uh, Sunday afternoon at 12, but he goes on to it in this short video. I think it's the utmost importance, and that's why I'm the only reason why I'm bringing this right now to you, that you forward uh, everybody the information when that live stream is, and just do it the way Brian's suggesting. Say, look, we don't always agree what about, but just... I'm, get, I'm asking you, just give me 15 minutes of your time, because according to what Brian's saying on this infomercial, uh, what Brian's saying is uh, it, it, it ought to change the way they see things. Later on today, I'm going to be releasing what I call a bombshell, and I sure don't use that term uh, like mainstream media. However, uh, a little over a week ago, uh, I should have done it then, but again, it's just a matter of time. Uh, released it, but uh, I have a great uh, recording of uh, Senator Ted Cruz from uh, Texas. I believe I did mention that in an earlier video. It just takes so much time with a small station like us to, uh, you know, a small YouTube channel for that matter, not a station. That It takes so much time to upload all this stuff. So anyway, uh, yeah, it is a bombshell. Now uh, another website, which is a reasonably good site, also called Peak Prosperity. These are all sites. Some of them you have to pay for to get any kind of real information, but yada, yada. Anyway, Peak Prosperity uh, just released a YouTube about how uh, Newsweek uh, got around to doing an article, too. And uh, you're going to be very surprised, but evidently it's looking like Fauci and uh, Gates and the whole crew there were part and parcel uh, responsible for bringing this to the lab in one. And uh, actually... Uh, substantially donated to the development of it. Now, if that's not a bombshell, that the same people that are trying to, the same people that have locked you down, the same people that have ruined your businesses, quite possibly it looks like our futures, all these people, now we're at, at the bottom, at the funding, <clears throat> excuse me, of this whole farce. And I'll release that later on as time permits. But if it doesn't wake up people, I, I just kind of think we're beyond help. If people turtle into all they know is themselves and their own fear, if that's what they created and they've done that, that was their whole purpose, was to make people soft and afraid. And look, none of us would even be communicating with each other if they didn't want us to. That's how little freedom we have. Analyze what I just said. The Internet, they control. The airwaves, they control. The resources, they control. The electricity, they control. And most people will still argue with me. They'll argue with you if you understand it. This is how good these people are. Anyway, uh, listen to Brian Rose here, and if you care at all about this planet, you best get this out to as many people as you can, okay? I'll kick it on here and watch. All right, I'm out repping us in the army, you know how we do this. And uh, look, we all know that David Icke was banned from Facebook today and other platforms are probably coming very shortly. Um, BBC 
our good friends, your tax dollars, by the way, and your forced license fees if you're here in Britain, just published that he was banned because of health misinformation that could cause physical harm. Health misinformation that could cause physical harm, AKA scientific studies of what we are being lied to in this entire crisis. At least that's what I see a lot of what Ike is publishing. And so I guess we shouldn't be surprised and a bunch of celebrity doctors signed some petition to get him banned on all these platforms. I mean, it's, it's almost ludicrous. And uh, he put out a video on YouTube and he said, the thing about fascism is it's so predictable. And um, this is just the beginning. More things are gonna be happening in the next 24, 48 hours uh, when it comes to banning. I don't know what's gonna happen to us, but like I said the other day, I don't care. Because we believe in what we're doing here. We believe in freedom of speech. And we believe that two people having a conversation, a 68 year old man and a 49 year old man almost for two hours is not a piece of dangerous, violent, revolutionary material. It's just two people talking, just two people talking. And that's what we're gonna do on Sunday. It's gonna be two people talking. Rose Ike 3 is happening regardless on Sunday at 5 p.m. UK time, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time at LondonReel.tv forward slash live. And we'll be talking with David Ike about the banning of his page and what he sees as happening here entirely from a global perspective, from a bird's eye view, what has been going on the last few months that took us from normality to this regime we are in right now, to this complete and total lockdown, this George Orwell 1984 society where we're literally looking over our backs, we're being told what we can say and we cannot say, we're being silenced, we're being shut down. What comes next? Are people gonna start disappearing? Are accidents going to happen? I don't know. I would have told you weeks ago that there's no way that could happen. That's what the crazy people think. That's what the conspiracy people think. But now, now I wouldn't say that because I've heard things and seen things that would shock you as far as what is happening uh, when it comes to oppression from trillion dollar technology companies to government ministers to regulators to you name it. Not to mention all the people out there that react in fear and then do their uh, work on their behalf. Um, and, and go ahead and try to censor me and censor people around them. So it's interesting times, and this is when leadership matters. And this is when you get to see the true colors of who's out there. And, uh, and uh, there's no question what we're doing. We are here, we are here to put the information out, we are here to fight, and uh, let the chips fall where they may, as Tyler Durden would say in Fight Club. Uh, whatever happens, happens. But we are, are sound in our convictions. I feel good knowing this. When my sons watch this video in 20, 30, 40, 50 years, you'll know what dad did. Dad stood for his convictions. I feel proud of what we're doing and uh, whatever happens, happens. But I'm not gonna cower. I'm not gonna be a good little boy or a good little girl and do what they say and put on my mask and lock myself in my, uh, in my flat while my entire economic future goes down the toilet, my health goes down the toilet, my uh, human rights go down the toilet you track me with my mobile phone and you tell me what to do when none of it makes sense. By MIT, MIT trained doctors, by tons of people out there that are speaking the truth. Watch the information we put out on the digital freedom platform, right? Dr. Buttar, Dr. Kaufman, Dr. Bruce Lipton. Listen to what they have to say. It makes a lot of sense to me. And yet there's a lot of forces out there working against this and it doesn't surprise me. As David would say, fascism is predictable. And so watch the dominoes fall. More of these will fall in the next 24, 48 hours and even further. Will they try to shut our broadcast down? It's very possible. But we're doing everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen. So again, the truth will be spoken on Sunday, May 3rd, 5 p.m. UK time. Be there, LondonReel.tv forward slash live. I'm expecting more malicious attacks, but we are gonna make this happen. We're bullet bulletproofing our technology to where this thing continues and uh, they can't stop us. As, as Dr. Kaufman said to me, he said, Brian, we have orders of magnitude of numbers on them, which means in tech speak, we are thousands and tens of thousands times bigger than they are. This is a few people at the top pulling strings and they cannot stop billions of people that know what's up and that are fighting back. And that's the London Real Army.
All right, so I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody supporting us, building our war chest for freedom with the digital freedom platform. If you wanna be involved, you know the URLs, learnreal.tv forward slash freedom. Become one of the founding members, support us in this fight, and we are gonna shore up our platform. It's gonna take us months. The next four months, we're gonna build this thing out, and we're gonna make it to where it's impervious to oppression, and that's what we're about. And again, I've said it before, I'm gonna finish with this one final point. Ask your friends and your family and your colleagues that look at you and think that you're out of your mind, say this, give me 15 minutes. Give me 15 minutes. Ask them to tune in on Sunday and say, give these guys 15 minutes. If you still think they're crazy, turn it off and go back to doing what you normally do. Go watch the BBC, go watch CNN, go watch uh, Tiger King, whatever you gotta do. Give them 15 minutes, that's it, right? Ask for 15 minutes of their time. That's all, don't try to explain things, don't try to argue with them. Just say, give me 15 minutes, that's it. And then you make the decision, that's all we ask, all right? This is just information, it's two people talking. There's nothing dangerous about what we're doing. I'm not calling for revolution, I'm not calling for violence, I'm not even calling for protests. I'm calling for education and information. And then you make the call. As an adult, you have the sovereign right to control what's put in your body, into your mouth, into your eyes, into your ears. And you get to make an adult decision. Right? Ofcom here, the regulator says, it's too dangerous. You're like a little kid, we have to coddle you. You can't have this dangerous information in your ears or you might make a decision that, that, that you're too immature to make. Wrong, you're an adult. Last time I checked, you have the right to decide what you want. So let, let them allow you to listen to the information. I, I, it's crazy, it's crazy. How can, how can a trillion dollar technology company tell you what you can and can, cannot listen to? How can a government tell you what you can and cannot listen to? How can a regulator tell you what you can and cannot listen to? Are you crazy? That's, that's, that's mind blowing that we would even tolerate this, all right? So stop tolerating it, all right? Tune in, listen to this information, share it with people, let's put it out there. Again, be on this broadcast, screen capture it, download it, stick it on a thumb drive, bury it, all right? Because that might be the only copy months from now or years from now. And we gotta put this out, okay? So there you go, it's exciting times right now. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of shizzle going down, but we are calm. David Icke is calm. We know what we're doing. We're moving forward and you are behind us and we appreciate that. So remember, we will not be silenced. We will not be censored. We will not be stopped. Join the resistance. Join London Real. I will see you Sunday at five o'clock UK time, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time to broadcast the truth. All right, guys, there you have it. Now listen, uh, <clears throat> Think about it, though, real quick, and then I, I'm going to let you go here. But uh, what is it that took us to this level? you got to understand this. Now, um, I want to ask you guys a very important question, too, particularly those with children. What are you going to tell them? And I've used this before many times in many speeches, and it, it's just there is no answer to it. But in whatever the time is irrelevant, I, I'll be backing, as I have many different things, but I don't have uh, my own children to have a legacy to leave. And I'm trying to get this out to everybody. Um, you know, geez, I'm, I'm hitting mid sixties already. And, um, yeah, by the time I'm really an old man and all that I'll be out, I'll be phased out and, and I'm doing this and, and to help humanity. I'm not saying I'm any kind of great person, but here's my point. You people with children, you people with even grandchildren, when in the future, if you're still alive and, and they come back to you and they said, how could you? How could you? And they look you in the eye. How could you have let this happen? How could you all because of your own fear, unjustified fear, allow all this information to literally bypass your brain and allow humanity to go into some kind of foreboding area that destroyed my family, that destroyed me, that destroyed everything in this planet. There is no freedom. How could you have let this happen? And then what are you going to tell them? What, well, I didn't know? Think about it. I would actually start thumb driving, like he says, several pieces of information because a few years down the line, none of this, all of this stuff is, all this stuff is vaporizing off the internet faster than I can keep up with it.
You go back the next day, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. The doctors, the nurses, the people on the, quote, and I hate that term, front line. Everything doesn't have to have a military term, a warlike term to it. Anyway, I recommend you check it out, the Digital Freedom Platform. It's a, it's a live stream that can't be blocked out. More and more of this is going to be uh, taking part. And uh, as another thing is, you always look for opportunities, okay? Well, live streaming companies might be one you might want to look at, okay? But I didn't tell you anything about that. But obviously, delivery companies, short package delivery, food delivery services, things like that. They're all going to do well. So uh, there's always opportunity, but that's for later. Nothing happens until we get back to work and nothing is going to be left to get back to work to if people don't start forwarding this type of information, regardless of what people think, okay, they'll be the first ones knocking at your door when the food shortages start in a few months. This is Barry. Please get it out. It's for humanity. It's not for he. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. 